Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now in this video, I wanna show you two products that could offer up a very good solution to video editing on a MacBook Air or even a MacBook Pro. Now the first one is the Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapter. And this comes in at around about 99 pounds. And it's actually designed to work with the GoFlex range of hard drives, but it does offer up a standard serial ATA connector on it. So the second product I'm gonna show you alongside this is the Vertex 4. This is a solid state drive, and this will actually plug direct into that Thunderbolt adapter. Now this is a 128 gigabyte version, and this is coming in at round about the 100 pound mark as well. So both of these in the US, round about 130 to 140 dollars each. So now I'm gonna move over to my MacBook Air, show you how I'm gonna set these up, and then also do a benchmark to show you how they perform. So what I wanna show you first is the Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapter. Now you don't get a cable with it, you have to buy this separately. This is gonna run you about sort of 29, 30 pounds, something like that. The actual adapter itself, as I mentioned before, under 100 pounds, and it's actually designed to use with the GoFlex range of portable hard drives, but it's got a standard serial ATA connector on there, and that got me to thinking that you could use this with any portable hard drive. So I'm gonna use this with a solid state drive and it should offer up a solution for video editing to an external drive on something like the MacBook Air that I've got just here. Now, it's a nice solid unit. It's got that connector there. It's got a couple of LEDs. It's got the Thunderbolt connection. And then the other end of this cable is gonna go into my MacBook Air. I'm gonna show you a speed test to see how it performs. Now, moving on, I'll show you the Vertex 4 from OCZ Technology. This is what the product packaging looks like. And inside that packaging, you get a couple of extra bits. You get a two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter plate. You get screws so that you can mount the SSD to the adapter plate. If you're using it in the setup I'm gonna be showing you, you don't need that, but this is what the drive looks like itself. It's got screw threads on the side and on the base, and then a standard serial ATA connector here. Now connecting it's very easy. You just pop it onto the connector and give it a firm push into place and that is it in place. Now normally, as I say, you'd be using the GoFlex portable hard drive on here, but you can connect any uh, mobile hard drive to this and it should work absolutely fine. So let's plug this in and start the test. So what you're seeing on your screen now is Blackmagic's disk speed test application. And I'm gonna just run the test on the internal storage on this MacBook Air. So let's click start and we let this run through a couple of times. Now bear in mind that this MacBook Air has been used for probably about three to four months roughly. So it might be a little bit slower than if it came freshly out of a box. But we're getting write speeds of 242 megabytes per second and read speeds of 261 on the first turn, and then second time round, 246 megabytes per second, and then on the read, we're getting 262 megabytes per second. A very respectable score. You can see here by all the ticks, this gives you an indication of what sort of video processing it will handle, and it handled pretty much anything at 10-bit YUV422 standard. So very good performance. So now I'm gonna go into the options here and select the target drive. And I'm gonna scroll down and select the OCZ Vertex 4. And you can see here, if I just hold this up in front of the screen before I start the test, this is it connected. These are the activity lights and it's connected via Thunderbolt to the MacBook Air. So let's start this test going. And we are getting a write speed of 352.8 megabytes per second and a read speed, wow, 364 megabytes per second. And you can see here that even more green ticks appearing in what sort of video processing it can handle. This is an absolutely fantastic performance. So what this means is that you can buy this Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapter and some solid state drives. And this gives you the option to actually video edit to an external drive connected via Thunderbolt 
to something like a MacBook Air. It's a very good option, and this Vertex 4 is extremely good value for money. 128 gigabytes, round about the 100 pound mark. You can still see the disk speed test running in the background. We're getting 354.5 megabytes per second right, and over 360 megabytes per second on the read speed. This is an absolutely fantastic solution and well worth checking out. So thanks very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.